problems of addition and subtraction of large integers. Addition of integers can be little tricky and students tend to commit a number of mistakes that is silly mistakes in addition of integers. Especially the sign positive or negative that is one thing students are always confused in. And the situation gets worse if the integers are as large as the ones which I have written on the board. You can see 7256 minus something plus something and minus something. Likewise, I have taken another example, a 5 digit, a 4 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit. So the digits are also differing in the problem. Now, how do we tackle these type of problems in competitive exams? You know, junior students, obviously, they have to follow the traditional approach because uh, they are taught that in the uh, school level. But at competitive level, especially in SSC, CGL and in, uh, you know, banking exams, these type of problems are asked. That is the simplification problems. And uh, you need to be really quick in solving these type of questions. So how do we uh, find the best way of solving this? So let's see the first question. Here we have four digits, then three, then two and four. So maximum number of digits are four. So what I do first, I'll just convert everything into a four digit number. So this is a four digit number. This is a three digit number. So I'll prefix a zero here. It doesn't make any difference. Now I'll prefix two zeros here because again it becomes a four digit number. And here also it's a four digit number. Now every number is having four digits. Likewise, in this question, you can see 5, 4, 3, 4. So, 5 are the maximum number of digits. So, prefix is 0 here. Then, a double 0 here. A single 0 here. Now, every number is having 5 digits. Now, let's tackle this problem first. Instead of writing them one below the other and then adding them, start adding the first digit. So this is 7 minus 0, 7 minus 0 is 7, plus 0, again 7, 7 minus 2 is 5. So just write a 5 here, put a slash, then move on to the next number, 2 minus 8. What is 2 minus 8? It is minus 6, plus 0 doesn't make any difference, minus 6, minus 4. So minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10. Third digit 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 minus 9 is minus 2. So another negative number and finally 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 plus 8 is 11, 11 minus 2 is 9. So you have found out the 4 digits required for getting to the correct answer. Now come to this, I will do this step for this question also, then I will tell you the final step to get to the answer. 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 is again 1, so we will have 1 here. Then come to 5 minus 8, 5 minus 8 is minus 3, minus 3 doesn't make any difference here, minus 3 and minus 3 is minus 6. Then we have a 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4. 4 minus 9 is minus 5. Minus 5 plus 7 is plus 2. Plus 2 minus 5 is minus 3. And finally, 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 minus 3 is 8. So now you see, you have found out the five digits which, were, which are required here. Now let's perform the next step to get to the answer. Here 9 is positive, so it will come as it is. Now here we have a negative 2. And once we have a negative number, we have to carry 1 from the previous number to this number. So if you carry 1 from here, this will get subtracted from 10. So if you get, if you uh, carry 1 from here, this is going to become minus 11 because 1 is going to be reduced from here and this will be 10 minus 2. 
So this is the next step. And 10 minus 2 is going to give you 8. So next digit is obtained now. Now what to do with it? this? So we have a 5 here. If you carry 1 from here, this is going to be 10 minus 11 which is again negative. So what you do in this case is to carry 2 from here. So this will become 3. And if you carry 2 from here, this will be 20 minus 11. And 20 minus 11 is 9. And we have a 3 remaining here. So 3989 is the result of adding and subtracting all these large integers. Students, you can just try and find the answer of this calculation using the traditional approach. I am sure you are going to find this answer as accurate as it gets. Let's apply for this one. See here, we have a 8 here. This is positive, so we don't need to worry about this. This is negative. So this becomes 10 minus 3 and I have to carry 1 from here. So this becomes 2. Okay, so 10 minus 3 is 7. That is the next digit. And now 2 is again positive. So just write 2 as it is in the answer. And again, if you carry 1 from here, this will become 10 minus 6. And this will become 0. So 10 minus 6 is 4 and we don't need to write a 0 up before that, right? So 4 to 7, 8 is the answer of this particular question. So you can see friends how the method is helping us in getting the answer of such large calculations. Let's see this problem. Now here I have taken 6 digits in the number. You can see here 613054, it's, it's a 6 digit number, 4 digit, 5 digit, 6 digit. So maximum number of digits are 6 here. So let's equate the number of digits first. 4 digits means 2 zeros, 5 digits means 1 zero and here we already have 6 digits. Now start writing from the first digit, 6 minus 0. I just underline that digit so that I am sure that I am not messing them up. So whatever I have covered, I am underlining those digits. So 6 minus 0 is 6, plus 0 is again 6, 6 minus 3 is 3. So first number is 3. Now 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Once again, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. 0 minus 8 is minus 8, plus 1 is minus 7, minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9. So we have a negative number. 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. And finally, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 minus 8 is 2. So now you can see the more the positive numbers are there in this, the easier the calculation becomes because the carry part can be done very very easily. So here we have to just carry one from here to here and get to the final answer. This will be very very easy. So 2, 1 and then this will become 10 minus 9. And here this 2 will become 1 and the further digits they will remain same. So actually the next step will be like this and your answer is directly written from here. This is 3, 2, 1, 10 minus 9 is 1 and again a 1 and a 2. So 3,21,112 is obtained when we add and subtract these large integers. Friends, you can see how the method is helping us in getting to the correct answer. And in competitive exams, you cannot spend time in writing the integers one below the other. So what you have to do is you have to uh, underline like this uh, the steps which I am doing and write this step in the rough work. And then from the multiple choices which are given to you, you can directly spot the answer by looking at these numbers. So all the steps which I am writing are not exactly written to, you know, spend time. That is written to make you understand the method and the logic behind 
why we are doing it like this but in mental mathematics you can skip many steps because in multiple choice question all that matters is that you have to mark the correct answer so friends if you like this video of uh, you know addition and subtraction of integers uh, do share it with all the junior students who are struggling with these positive and negative signs in the integers and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do it because i keep on saying to my friends you know this channel is for developing 10 times faster calculation speed and for developing that kind of mathematical aptitude which is required to clear the competitive exams so very very beneficial channel for all parents and teachers who are mentors for the junior students and also for all those competitions you know in which the quantitative aptitude portion is asked and Further, if you want the 24 PDF short trick course, uh, I keep on uh, telling you to grab a copy of this short trick course because in this course you have over 350 short tricks and over 275 pages. You know, you won't find a better compilation of short tricks than this short trick course. No book available in the market. On the internet, you will have random videos in which one particular short trick is demonstrated. But in this course, all the short tricks of competitions are integrated at one spot. So how do you obtain a copy of this? You have to send a message on WhatsApp 9896369963 is the number you need to use to send me a message on WhatsApp. And if you don't use WhatsApp for some reason, just visit this website www.sureshagarwal that's my name in the website dot in so that's the website on which you can find the short trick course of this quantitative aptitude so friends don't forget to click the bell icon on the channel because that's where the problem is people don't click the bell icon and they are not notified about the uploads Thanks for watching this and stay safe inside your homes.